Hello and welcome to Flying Bobbins. I'm Liz and today I'm going to talk you through how to make a snuggly snood. Um, now I made this using some honeycomb fleece with stars and some soft jersey, cotton jersey with stars as well. So you get the two different sides. And kits to buy this snood are available at flyingbobbins.com so you can get everything that you need there. Um, dimensions of this, I made it big enough so that if you want to, you can sort of snuggle it up into a, a hood or you can wear it like this and just keeps you nice and warm for those lovely long winter walks um, or even maybe for the school run as well. So I'm going to be using my Flying Bobbins kit. I've got both an adult version and a child version. This is the blue. I've also got pink and black and white on the way as well. So let's open up our sewing kit and see what's inside. I've got both my adult and my child snuggle snood kits here. You get the same in both of them. The only difference is in the amount of fabric that you get. So this is the adult pack here. And you're going to get your booklet with full colour instructions and then you're going to get a half a metre of star print jersey in the colour of your choice. And then you're going to get half a metre of this honeycomb fleece, which is super soft and snuggly. Um, it does, uh, when before you've sewn it up, it does um, molt a little bit. <laughs> and then that's got this kind of a, a backing just to show you. And those two are designed to go together. So those are the fabrics that you get, your fleece and your jersey. And then optional extras. Um, if you're using a sewing machine, you're going to want to invest in a ballpoint needle. And I sell packs of these in my shop. Um, this, these ballpoint needles have a slightly rounded tip, which means that when they're sewing through uh, knit fabrics like jerseys, they sort of um, are kinder on the fabric. They won't pierce or uh, ladder the jersey. And then you can also add a matching thread. And the Gutterman 786 goes perfectly with these blue colours. So you can add that as well. And if you're buying this as a gift, just adding those little extras makes more of it. Um, I'm actually going to use plain white thread today. And to be perfectly honest, if you're sewing this at home and you've got some plain white, then that's going to be fine because most of the sewing is just going to be on the inside. But if you do want to add a thread, then the colour suggestion for this is 786, which I should also put a link to on the page. Um, so you get half a metre of star print fleece and half a metre of star print jersey in the adult pack. In the children's pack, it's exactly the same. You get your instructions, you can add your needles and your threads if you wish, and then you get a 30 centimetre wide piece of star print jersey and a 30 centimetre wide piece of star print fleece. Okay, so just to show you, this is my snood that I was wearing just a second ago. And I've given you 50 centimetres deep of both jersey and fleece. The circumference of this, when finished and sewn up, I've made it 90, and that suits me perfectly. You can go slightly bigger or slightly smaller if you want, but I think 90 is a good circumference for this snood. It allows you to wear it as a hood and it's nice and snugly around your neck. If you've made the infinity scarves before, the infinity scarves in the lighter weight fabrics use the full width of the fabric. And this was so that you could loop them round and wear them doubled up. I tried that with this and it just felt too claustrophobic and too bulky. And what I found was that the, just the simple snood style was much nicer. So that's why I've cut it down in this instance. So what you're going to find with your pack is you're actually going to have quite a bit of leftover fabric at the side there. And that's going to allow you to make some cute accessories. You could make a little jersey scrunchie, you could make some little welly toppers um, out of this spare piece even, just make a little tube to pop in the top of your wellies um, so you can be all matchy matchy. <laughs> um, you know, so you're going to have a nice bit of spare fabric there as well. The other thing um, which is good about having that piece of spare fabric is you can then test your stitches, whether you're using a sewing machine or an overlocker. 
it's always good to have a little bit of spare fabric just to test your stitches on before you get, get going on your project itself. So the first thing that we're going to want to do, let's move this out of the way, is to cut this down. And with the width here is fine at 50, that's good, because by the time you've taken off that seam allowance, that's going to be just the perfect depth for your snood. Um, but we do need to cut it down. Now the other thing you'll notice about the jersey is that it's got this rough bit at the side and it's kind of like this gluey rough edge. And when manufacturing jersey, um, in order to load it onto the rolls, they add this gluey sort of edge finish to it to stop it from curling up. So the good thing about jersey is that it doesn't fray. The bad thing about jersey, as you can see from this piece here, is that it always wants to roll up. <laughs> so you just have to kind of have a bit of patience to deal with it. Um, but yeah, the gluey dots on the edge of that selvage of the jersey there are just there to stop it from rolling in this way as well and rolling up too much when they put it onto the rolls. So we're going to want to remove those anyway. And then once we've removed those gluey edges, we're going to want to cut this piece down so that it's 95 centimetres. I folded it in half there just so that you can see it on the screen. But I'm going to cut that down so it's 95 centimetres. That will give me a finished circumference of um, 90 thereabouts with a bit of extra to play with for the seam allowances. And exactly the same for the fleece. I just want to, the selvages, you don't have to worry about too much on this. They're more kind of conventional. So I just want to cut that down. I'll open that up and I'll cut that down so it's 95. So you're going to end up with two pieces of fabric, a piece of fleece and a piece of jersey, each measuring 50 centimetres deep by 95, if I flatten that out, I folded it in half so I could get it on the screen, but 50 centimetres deep by 95 centimetres long. And you want both of your pieces of fabric to be the same. Now before you cut, if you think to yourself, I might like mine to be a little longer or a little snugger, just clip it in place, try it on and see, does that 95 centimetre, 90 centimetre circumference work for you? But that was what I made mine and I tried a few times and that was my favourite um, my favourite dimensions for this scarf. So I'm going to measure 95 centimetres out from that salvage and make a mark and then do that a couple of times. Knock, knock, knock in the background. Try to ignore the background music. Here we are. Okay, and then you can either, once you've made those marks, you can either just draw a line and cut it with scissors, or you can use a rotary cutter and a ruler, whichever you prefer. And I've got my cutting mat down underneath here, so I can see that that's nice and square. And I'm just going to slice down there. Now I've got a 95, whoops, see you've got scissors on those bits that are being stubborn. I've now got a 95 centimetre by 50 centimetre piece. And then I have got this bit of square. It's quite a nice bit of fleece that you've got to uh, play with there. Move that out of the way. And then I'm going to do the same for the jersey and then with the jersey the first thing I'm going to do is slice off that yucky gluey bit at the end and then exactly the same for the jersey so if you cut off that gluey selvage you can then just measure out again 95 make a couple of marks one at the top one at the bottom does want to roll out. And 
then I've got my spare piece of jersey there, which I'll keep close by for testing my stitches. There we go. So I've now got my two pieces, which each measure 95 by 50. And there's my two pieces of fabric, my jersey and my sleeves, both measuring 50 by 95. If you're making the children's snuggle snood, it is exactly the same procedure. I'm going to demonstrate on the adults, but you're going to follow exactly the same steps. When cutting out the children's, I've given you a piece which is 30 deep. And then instead of cutting 95, you're going to cut 70. And that's going to give you a snood circumference of around 65. And if you, again, if you want to try that on first, then you can do so. I've kind of done a bit of trial and error and I found that to be a good measurement. So again, if you're doing a children's one, then it will be um, 30 deep by each piece measuring 65 long. The adults one is 50 deep by each piece measuring 95 long.